Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, we're going to do the satellite imagery photo from Kaggle, and I'm going to show you a couple things. Like how to import it, uh, a zip file and unzip it. As you can see, there's my satellite zip photo. Instead of doing it the long way and unzipping it on your computer and then uploading it to Google Drive. Okay, so you just import it and unzip it this way. You do the file path, extract all, close, after a force mount. And then this does not have a training and validation folder. So what we do is we make a validation split, horizontal flip equals true for both. And then the class mode is categorical, because these are categorical. Subset training and validation, and the batch size depends on how many images you have. I put 32 and 16, just because there was less for this. Okay, and then we're going to do four neurons since there's four classes. The input shape equals the target size. 128, once, and then 64, 32, and 32 again. I could have done a 16, but I didn't feel it was necessary. I just reduced the kernel size and the pool size. And then uh, dense four. You can do softmax or sigmoid. It doesn't matter. But softmax is usually better for, um, not always, but for uh, categoric, multi-categorical. Usually better for binary. Okay, there we go. I added five more epochs. As you can see, the validate the training loss is 15%. Accuracy kind of stopped at 96%. Validation loss is low, 25%. Validation accuracy is 92%. Save the model, just in case you want to use it later. And then uh, we're going to use one image. Now, you know how usually for binary we're able to uh, get percentages? But since this is multi-categorical, four... And I wanted to show you guys something different. Okay, so we did what we did last time. 384, read, read, predict. Then it shows you these arrays. Now for classes equals list of train class indices. Okay, remember right here the train data gen? Okay, and then MP argmax of Y. It's a it it's a three, and then we want to see what the model predicted. So we type in classes, and then three. Water. Okay, and then PLT IM reads C, and then show the image, water, that's satellite imagery from the Kaggle data set. Okay, I hope you guys learned some trick. Now, if you have test labels, you could just put, uh, but we don't have that. That's why you have to use classes equals list, train class, and dices. Okay, guys, that's all. Thank you.